the tools here. So. All right, so we're going to be installing the Turbo XS vacuum pump cover and the radiator stays today. We'll start with the radiator stays. You just need to start with removing the uh, intake shroud here. And there's one clip, two clips. Intake duct here. We'll set it right here for now. Now, for your radiator stays, you have one total movable here, one here. They'll both come out. The hoses should hold the radiator in place, so it shouldn't go anywhere. Easy as pie. Radiator, just like that. There's your factory piece. That's it. Yep. You will need to retain the rubber bushing here. Just kind of push that out. Eventually, just like that. You can clean up whatever. It'll go in the new piece. So let's set this to the side and pull up the next one. Bolt. And second radiator stay. Pretty easy. Then you'll take, you don't need to reuse the bolts, the new Turbo XS radiator stays. Just push this rubber piece back inside. Spit on a little bit. Makes it go on easier. Just like that. It's all good. It comes with two new bolts right here. Oh, okay. So I'll take that one. And screw. So we're gonna slide this right underneath this plastic piece and over top the radiator. And this other bolt. It's going to drop right into here. I believe that's a 5 millimeter Allen to tighten that down. And it was just going to pull the radiator in a little bit. Snug it up just a little bit for now. And I'm going to get the other one on, and then I'll snug them both all the way up. Let's put that right there. Here's the second one. Just going to slide over the post on the radiator under this piece of plastic. And Drop the new bolt in. Get it started by hand. You're gonna pull the radiator in a little bit as you're tightening this up. And we'll just give it just a little snug. And snug that one the rest of the way up. Go all day right there. The uh, radiator stays and both the vacuum pump cover come in either red or blue. Uh, we got the blue for his car, got the red for my car, we'll throw those on in a couple days here. And uh, I guess we will continue with the vacuum pump cover here. Sweet. This goes even faster. It is a T10 Torx. There's one, two, three of these little Torx holding this on here. Just gonna break these loose so you don't wanna drop these. Oh, those things are very small. Very right? small. Yeah. So, and that's what you're gonna pull out of there. We'll set it right up here. You're gonna need to keep these because you have to reuse them. There's the second one. left side off there is an o-ring in there right around the base so you gotta be careful that you don't pinch that when you install the new cover 
Let's see your senses right there. I think this rubber piece in here is just a uh, a uh, spacer in there to keep it from rattling or anything like that. But Turbo Access does not have that. There is a let's see here a rubber spacer in here around a piece. I'm not sure what exactly it's for, which there is a vent in it anyway, so it's not sealing anything. It just rests on top of here, huh? It just rests on top of this rotor right mm -hmm. here. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, well. It's probably just the dampened vibrations or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. So this is going to sit on there with the flat spot to the left. Oh, there's different spots? Different sides? Yep. There will be a flat spot right along the side right here. Oh, okay. And it'll go to the left right where the flat spot is on the housing. Oh, gotcha. So we'll take our T10 Torx again. Drop the first screw in. And I'll get all the screws started first before I tighten anything up. Again, be very careful not to drop these. Okay, and once all these are in, you're gonna wanna go around and give them a nice snug up because you have to remember there is a O-ring in there that seals this cap. So you don't want them to be too loose. And that's it. That's it? Oh, that's all, all she there. wrote. Yep. Man, these really look good though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah. They look a lot better than I thought they would. You know, nice little engine, yep. engine dress up pieces. Oh yeah, definitely. Man, they look cool, man. Yep. Now we just need to find the company that makes all the replacement caps for all the yellow pieces. Yeah, I know. Uh, it is true. And so these are around 50 bucks or so? I think the radiator stays, if I remember correctly, are 40 and the vacuum pump converter is 60 Awesome. So it'll be 100 bucks for the set. So and then intake, snorkel, whatever yep. thingy back on. and Put it right back in. Just like that. You can Line back up your, your holes here. Okay, so now that the snorkel is back on, so this one's gonna be slightly covered up. You can still see it, it's right there. And this one's gonna be fully exposed right there. So everything's nice and tight. It's all good. So turboexcess.com is where you can find it. Is that yep. the right website? I do believe so, yes. Cool. Yeah, that looks good on there with the with that process west uh, verticaler. Awesome. Sweet, that's it. Thanks guys, appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Thank you. fit bro no not a chance <laughs> uh we could put it on i could <laughs> oh shit it wouldn't be pretty though <laughs> <laughs> spit on a little bit makes it going easier <laughs> <laughs>